Welcome. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the hyperglycemia management order set. Hyperglycemia is a common condition in hospitalized people, even amongst those without a previous history of diabetes, and it is associated with an increase in hospital complication, longer length of stay, and mortality. Insulin is the most appropriate pharmacological agent for effectively controlling glycemia in the hospital. A proactive approach to glycemic management using scheduled basal, bolus, and correction insulin is the preferred method. This is the method that is now recommended by the Canadian Diabetes Association. The use of correction-only insulin, which treats hyperglycemia only after it has occurred, should be discouraged as the sole modality for treating elevated blood glucose levels. In this demonstration, I am going to show you the hyperglycemia management order set, which will use the method that is recommended by the Canadian Diabetes Association for management of glycemia in the hospital. I've now searched for the hyperglycemia management order set, and it's now here on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and open the order set. When I open the order set, I'm provided with some reminder statements. The reminder statements are currently collapsed, but it is recommended that you go into them to receive any information that you may want to access on this order set. This includes some general reminders, as well as some reminders regarding the targeted blood glucose values that is recommended by the Canadian Diabetes Association. The order set provides some general patient care orderables such as the capillary blood glucose, as well as a section for IV fluids with standard IV fluid orders available. By opening the standard IV fluid orders, I'm provided with a list of options to provide a bolus of fluid and for IV maintenance therapy. I can go into either of these categories to bring up the fluids that are available for me to choose from. It is important to remember that this order set is not to be used for DKA or HHS presentations. This is just for hyperglycemia management in the hospital admitted patient. When we move into the medication sections, there is a statement here that refers to the sliding scale. If there is preference of just using a sliding scale, this would be in keeping with just using part three of this order set. Similarly, a sliding scale orderable is available by searching for it in the search box up here. This will bring up essentially just part three of this order set. The medications are laid out in part one, part two, and part three based on the basal, prandial, and corrective insulins. The dosing that you're going to pick for parts one, two, and three is going to depend upon whether or not the patient is regularly on insulin at home or whether or not they are new to being prescribed insulin. Opening up the reminder statement here will help provide you with some guidance on that calculation of dose if they are new to insulin. The first step is the basal insulin or the long-acting insulin. I'm going to open this and for the Lantus or the long acting insulin, I'm going to order it and this patient is going to receive 30 units. The second part is the prandial dosing with meals. I'm going to use Humalog for this and I'm going to give the patient 10 units with each of the meals. The final part is the correctional scale insulin. There is some information provided to you with regards to the correctional scale insulin. The correctional scale can be done using a low, medium, or high corrective scale. Using a low, medium, or high is usually dependent upon how much insulin per day they are requiring. You can also choose between doing the low, medium, and high corrective scale using rapid-acting insulin 
or using a short-acting insulin. In this case, I am going to do a medium corrective scale using a short-acting insulin or regular insulin. I'm going to select this and I'm going to have the scale be done three times a day scheduled. And I've now ordered this. And if I want to see what that corrective scale looks like, I can click the P, which pulls up the protocol, and you can see the corrective scale that the nurses will use to correct the insulin based upon what the initial capillary blood glucose level is. I can now submit my orders, and they will then be processed. Thank you for watching.